All right, this spring could be a rough one when it comes to allergies. In fact, Forbes magazine ranks Tulsa as one of the top 20 worst cities for allergies. Tree pollen, a big culprit. There's various ways to deal with the symptoms, of course. Fox 23's James Tully joins us now to talk about home remedies. James. You know, Clay, gargling with saline solution isn't my idea of a good time before I settle in for the night. But flushing allergens out of your system, ones that come from trees like this, pollen in the air, well, that's just one step you can take to help control those sniffing and sneezing outbursts that make so many of us miserable. And you can do it all from the comfort of your home. According to this dietitian, it's not a myth. Eating local honey can help with an allergy. It can work something like a vaccine where you're taking in very small amounts of something that allows your body to develop a normal response. The same goes for this new herbal formula that contains ambrosia leaves, which is actually a form of ragweed. Ambrosia leaf actually helps to stabilize your body's response to the allergen so you don't have this overreaction. Sinus cleansers are very effective. Flushes in neti pots get the pollen out. You can battle the symptoms with a physician's help or take a more natural approach, but what's the difference? It's a completely different approach because it's not just meant to maybe um, cover symptoms or deal with symptoms. It's meant to get to the heart of the problem. Dr. Denise Roddy, an optometrist, disagrees, saying some medications like antihistamines do just help with the symptoms, but others like mast cell stabilizers actually delve into the root of the problem. There are medications that actually keep the mast cells which release histamine from breaking open and releasing it, so you actually can stop and stabilize the condition. Allergies can change as you get older. They can get worse if you move from one place to the next. Look at it like a diet. Find what solution works for you and just stay consistent. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, James Tully, Fox 23 News.